Sunderby Sjukhus. Sunderby Hospital is a fairly new hospital. We moved here in 2000, merging the Lulio and Bowdoin hospitals together. We were a little nervous about the installation of the new patient monitoring since the hospital was full of patients and we were changing the system while it was being used. The implementation of the new monitoring system went much better than we had expected due to very good planning and the fact that we took things one step at a time. The cooperation between the supplier, Draeger, and ourselves worked very well. The great advantage of Wi-Fi for patient monitoring is that you have an unbroken chain of patient data from the time the patient enters the hospital until they are no longer in our care. The pick-and-go system improves our workflow considerably. We can now retrieve patients directly from the emergency room with continuous surveillance at all times. Patient safety has improved quite a lot. We've had some patients that had ST intervals that looked a certain way in the ECG when they came to the CCU. These patients went to the coronary unit and had a balloon catheter inserted and their ST intervals became normal. Then, when they returned to the CCU, and we're only talking about a few minutes immediately afterwards, we were able to see from the continuous monitoring that the ST intervals had changed once again. So these patients had to be rushed back to the coronary lab, where they discovered that a blood vessel had thrombosed very rapidly. So it has actually been life-saving in some cases. Common hospital monitoring, where everybody has the same system, makes it much easier for us to switch devices between different departments. We no longer have to clean the monitoring cables between each patient because we take a new monitor with us from the recovery unit that has already been cleaned, which saves us two to three minutes per patient. The M540 is very small and convenient to work with. It's easy to undock from the station and also to redock it back onto the station. On the C500, I look at the patient's parameters, such as blood pressure, ECG, and oxygen saturation. I feel that the whole workstation is very good because it's easy to get an overall view of the patient from the monitor. I use patient watch in my work to monitor patients during surgery in the theaters where you don't want people entering the room. Then it's excellent to see the patient's condition from any computer whatsoever. My advice to others who carry out similar upgrade projects is to ensure that you have a good working relationship with the IT and biomedical departments because that is the key to success. Together with them, you should have a good relationship with suppliers for discussing various problems because nothing is impossible.